Hey everyone, this is Structural Steve again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to export your OBM model to Google Earth. Exporting your OBM model to Google Earth is a good way to see your bridge in context with its surroundings, and it's a quick way to share the model with someone for visualization purposes. Now there is some documentation on this process, but they, you know, they usually miss some key steps in setting up your file for a proper export. When you're ready to export your bridge, there are a couple settings you're going to need to update. First thing you need to do if you haven't done it already is set that coordinate system. And to do this, you just go to the drawing workflow, go to the utilities tab, and click on the coordinate system. From there, you're going to want to click on the from library button here and choose the correct coordinate system for the job. Now, the number of options in this library are pretty overwhelming, as you can see here. I wanted to drill down to my Florida job here. I just have a lot of different options to choose from. So one thing I would recommend doing is once you have the ones you use frequently or the ones you know that are correct ones, you're just gonna wanna right click on that and add to favorites. And you can see that's what I did up here. So that way I don't have to drill down into that tree structure every time I wanna find and set my coordinate system. And to choose your coordinate system, you can either double click on it or just select it and click okay. Now in that same geographic tab, you're gonna wanna click on the Google Earth settings button up here. There's a few settings in here, but we want to make sure are right. First one here is the format. We want to do KML only. This Kalata will bring in textures as well, and that can have a, a negative effect on the export to Google Earth, especially when you're in, in Street View. So for now, until they get that fixed, I ought to stay in this KML only. And you're also going to want to make sure your altitude is absolute, so that way your elevations of your bridge come in, in the absolute elevations that they were defined at in the model. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Close that out. Now that your settings are all set, just hit the Export Google Earth File button. We'll ask you to save it somewhere. And then as it's saving it, it'll go ahead and launch Google Earth. Uh, this is going to be the normal Google Earth in here. You know, we can zoom around, fly around, rotate, and, and different things. You know, I left my terrain on in, in the model uh, before I exported it, so you can turn that on if you, if you wanted to. But, you know, this is just going to be your normal Google Earth in here, and your bridge is going to be in here in, in the real world position as well. This kind of gives a, a decent little uh, context for what it's going to be like. But one thing I like to do is actually go into the street view. I think this kind of gives a neat perspective of your model in the, the real world as if you were driving underneath it or below it. Now you're going to see the rendering isn't very good far away on, on your model objects, but when you get closer, it'll clean itself up a little bit. So there we go. Finally got close enough. Now it looks pretty good. But this new this is just like you're as if you're driving underneath your your bridge model here in the real world. And that's it. We successfully exported our bridge model to Google Earth. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please help the channel by hitting that subscribe button you see on your screen now. Give the video a like or share it with others. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them. See you guys in the next video.